Ok, good afternoon students. El motivo del siguiente video es para aclarar algunos de los temas que vimos el día de hoy, pero que no se pudo entender por problemas de audio. Me disculpo por los problemas que tuvimos y espero que el siguiente material les pueda ayudar a entender la clase de how much, how many, some, any. Ok, let's start. Countable and uncountable nouns. We have two kinds of nouns. Okay? Nouns in Spanish is sustantivo. We have two kinds. One, one kind is that we can count. And these nouns are countable nouns. It's possible to count. For example, One book, two books, three books. Is possible to count? Yes. The countable nouns has plural. One book, singular, two books, plural, three books, plural, four books, five books, six books is plural form. So we can count. Okay, let's see other example. With pen. One pen, two pens, three pens. Is possible to count? Yes. Okay. These nouns are countable. There is another kind of nouns. Another kind are nouns that we cannot count. And we call these nouns uncountable. Are nouns that we can count. For example, water, milk, sugar. Is possible says one water, two water, three waters? No. It's incorrect. Okay, the uncountable nouns, they don't have plural form, only is in singular, water, milk, sugar, you see, okay, it's not possible to count. Now. Let's practice, okay, let's practice to recognize this when something is countable and uncountable. We have some words. For example, egg. Is countable? Yes, it's countable. It's possible to say one egg, two eggs, three eggs. It's a countable. Cheese. Is possible says one cheese, two cheeses? No. Cheese, uncountable. Gear. Yes, is possible says one gear, two gears, three gears, four gears. Is possible. Pencil. Yeah, obviously. Pencil is possible says no. One pencil, two pencil, three pencil. Countable. Butter. In Spanish, mantequilla, the butter. Is possible to say one butter, two butter? No. Okay, in English, it's an uncountable noun. The jacket. Yes, the jacket is a countable noun. Oil. Oil is an uncountable noun. All the liquids, the water, the milk, the coffee, the tea, are uncountables. Salt is an uncountable. Juice, a liquid, uncountable. A school, yes, a school is countable. It's possible to say one school, two schools, three schools. Meat, uncountable. And finally, cat, animals. The animals are the animals are uncountable. Okay. If we classify 
countable and uncountable. Now, in classes, we see how much and how many. How many, how much. We use how many for contact. And we use how much for uncountable. Estas dos palabras significan lo mismo. Cuántos. Cuántos. Significan lo mismo. La diferencia está en que how many solo se utiliza para countable nouns. How many eggs. How many gears. How many jackets. How much se utiliza con uncountables. How much cheese do you like? How much butter do you like in your bread? How much juice are you going to drink? How much meat? ¿Ok? Recordemos. How much, how many se utilizan para countable y uncountable. Countable is possible to count. Is possible. Uncountable is impossible to count. We can count. Okay? Now, let's practice, let's practice with a game. How many and how much. Te estoy adjuntando en esta clase, en tu, de CNET, en tu comunidad de CNET, esta diapositiva. Mr. How Much versus Mr. How Many. Who is right? Mr. How Much or Mr. How Many? How Much Uncountable. Remember, it's impossible to count. And how many? Yes. Is possible to count with the word food. Someone stole food and drinks. How much food? How many food? Yeah! How much food? La palabra food is uncountable. No es posible contar. Es posible contar chocolate, ¿no? Huh? One bar of chocolate, two bar of chocolates. Pero food no es chocolate. Food es en general. Comida. Ok. Let's see other example. He stole some apples. Apples. How much or how many? Yeah. Yes. It's possible to count the apples. No? One apple, two apples, three apples. Four apples, five apples. Is possible? Yes. Remember, how much is not possible to count? Uncountable. How many? Yes, we can count. ¿Ok? Te voy a dejar este archivo en tu CNET. Tú continúa con los demás ejercicios. Vamos a continuar con la explicación ahora de Sam and Any. Okay, some and any. En español estas palabras significan casi lo mismo. Algunos o algunas. La diferencia está cuando lo usamos. Okay, some we use in this case in positive sentences, affirmative. For example. There are some apples on the table. There is some water in the glass. Affirmative sentence. Aquí no importa si es que es contable o no es contable. No importa. Lo que importa es que sea affirmative sentence. Ok. Some we use positive sentence. Now, any. When we use any. In questions and negative sentences. 
Are there any apples in the basket? Are there any apples? Maybe yes, maybe no. Is there any milk in the fridge? You see? Questions. Any. Como te vuelvo a repetir, no importa aquí si es que es contable o incontable. Porque Sam y N se utilizan para ambos. Lo que aquí debemos entender es cuándo debo usar. Sam, affirmative. Any questions, no? Questions form and negative sentence. There aren't any apples in the basket. There isn't any milk in the fridge. You see? In negative, any. Questions, any. Affirmative sentence, some. Okay? Te vuelvo a repetir. Cuando usamos some y any, no es importante si es que es contable o no. Solo cuando lo usamos. ¿Ok? Para ello, te voy a adjuntar también un archivo para que practiques SAM Any en un juego. ¿Ok? Al igual que practicaste How Much, How Many, también vas a practicar SAM Any. Como jugando. ¿Ok? Solo es para SAM N. Lo mismo, pones F5. SAM versus any game. Let's see. I have new postcards to send to my friend. SAM or any? SAM, very good, because it's affirmative. I have some new postcards to send to my friends. SAM. And next, there is some butter, some affirmative sentence. There is some butter on the table, you can use it. The next, I can speak. Some or any? Any, because it's negative. In negative sentence, we use any. I can speak any foreign language. Look, there are trees there. They are very beautiful. There are some trees there. Okay, good. No le hagas clic, nada más. Tú tienes que responder si es que es con some or any. Y de ahí le haces clic para que te aparezca la respuesta. Tom doesn't have camera. Doesn't. Negative sentence. So, any. No. Tom doesn't have any camera. Ok. También se te, voy, te voy a adjuntar este archivo para que puedas practicar Sam any. Ok. Recuérdate. Sam any. Algunos. How much, how many, how much uncountable, how many countable, ok, countable porque podemos contar, recuerda, es posible contar, uncountable porque no es posible contar, it's impossible to count, ok,